Welcome back to another Dump Tip Tuesday. All we do is talk. Dump Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dump Tip Tuesday. No, my bird is going up. Always going Tuesday. up, baby. And I do it for the love. Who else? Dump Tip Tuesday. Yeah. You know I do it for my subs. For my subs. Subscribe to number And I can never get enough. What else? Dump Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving. Never, never. <laughs> what is good, guys? We got the soundboard Dunk cooking. Tuesday. We do a podcast every single week and a Dunk Tip Tuesday every single week. So check out my podcast. We're leveling up. And today is Dunk Tip Tuesday. And guess what else we got? We also got this. Where is it? That's For the OGs. And guess what? I don't give a <laughs> if you're new or not. <laughs> <laughs> I got the soundboard. It's going to have a lot of fun. So really enjoying making this content for you guys today as I bring you Tuesday. It's three keys to unlocking your potential. And I'm all about using dunking as a way to prove to yourself that anything is possible. And today is no short of that. So let's just get right into it. Number one key is staying injury free. And what I mean by that is if you can have a constant progress trajectory that is upwards. <laughs> I almost had it. What the? F- and I tried to get my words out correctly, but sometimes I stutter and I got trajectory out correctly, but that word's harder. And then I got the easy one wrong. And so I was proud of myself and I started thinking instead of just talking. So that's something about me. But anyway, if you can be injury free, you can have more of an upward trajectory without any blips. Progress does have some ups and downs, but injuries and overtraining can help you, I mean, can force you to stay down for a long time. They take you out for a lot longer than just a couple of rest days. So, injury prevention is huge. So, a few things that I've learned from mine is tendons. They take longer than muscles to adapt. So just understand that, for example, sometimes we're squatting so much that our muscles are getting bigger and stronger that we squat more and more, but our tendons take longer to adapt. So they start to get overloaded because they're taking slow, a more amount of time to get stronger. So our muscles are exceeding what our tendons can handle, if that makes sense. Another thing about injury prevention is work on your weaknesses and imbalances because that is what causes injuries. That's what causes tightness. A lot of my tightness in my body is because one muscle is way stronger than the counterbalancing muscle. So it's just pulling on it without any balance. So it's causing that tightness. So if you can work on that balance, you could work on your range of motion and mobility, you can help prevent injuries. And there's always something to work on, which is why it's a great mindset to be injury free and balanced. Because for example, with my minor hamstring tear right now, I can work on my freaking toes. I can work on my fucking uh, calves and ankles is what I meant to say is ankles, ankle mobility, ankle strength. And by doing that, you're preventing those injuries in the future. Because a lot of times when we land wrong, if our a- ankles can handle that, it won't get injured. But it's a lot of times when you land wrong, we're not ready for that position, which is why I'm so big on being in all ranges of motion, not avoiding them, but being in long ranges of motion, increasing that mobility so you can get strong through those all those ranges. So for example, when I see somebody at the gym that's doing back and they're kind of yanking it with their whole body, are think about that. If they're using their body to kind of give it momentum, they're probably weak in that area where they need that momentum. So instead of just yanking it to get the full rep, why don't you strengthen that range of the motion so you're using the entire muscle and not just strong in some positions. That's why when some people bench press, they're strong maybe at the bottom, but they can't get it the up way. So you can train those parts and you could do so much with your body. So balance is huge. Make sure you're strengthening your body balance because a lot of times we get caught up working with, I have videos on the mind-body connection. I could do more of it. By the way, answer all your questions the subscriber dunk review will be back next week. The subscriber dunk review will be back. Thank you all for submissions. I have so many. I'm going to go through a ton of them next week. So stay tuned for next. Tuesday. And we're killing it. And by the way, I have a music video coming out that sounds like, Tuesday. but it just goes, what you do? And in yesterday's podcast, I used it as the intro. I'm super pumped about it. And so it's just a lot of fun. That's what today's about. And so I'll switch on to next number two. So first one is injury-free, stay balanced, work on your weaknesses and work on balancing your body and working on being as mobile as possible. Doesn't mean you need to be Olympic style stretching, but the longer, the more range you have, the more you're using all of the muscle and the more there's going to be balance. So key number two, which is what I love about creating content and what you know about me the most is energy. So I want you guys to see every piece of your dunk journey, every single 
ounce of things you do, I wanted to say energy again, everything that you do for your dunk journey in terms of energy. And what I mean by that is, is when you go for a workout, when you go to dunk, it is literally using max energy. You're trying to explode as hard as possible. If you're trying to increase your vert, you need to push yourself at least 100%. And I say that because you're really trying to exceed it more. Like I call it the 101% rule. But if you're thinking of sprinting, right? If you're trying to sprint faster than you've ever sprinted, do you think you can run 98%? How are you ever going to exceed your sprinting speed? Same is true for jumping. I just use sprinting because it's a little easier to understand. So you have to have max energy to push yourself past your limits. Now, when it comes to those dunk days, if you can reverse engineer your life to have max energy on those days, you can have the best dunk days. I'm not just talking about dunk days, but those are what we're going for. That's what this is all about when we live the freaking dunk life. dunk life. Okay, that was terrible. It says that in the beginning. I gotta edit that thing out. Okay, <gasps> okay. But when it comes to energy, everything you do in life is using the same energy tank. So I'm big on sleep. I'm big on nutrition. And so when you start to reverse engineer and see where you're leaking energy, you can have more energy for your workouts. And now when you have more energy for your workouts, they have better quality. You're able to do your plow metrics with more intensity. You're able to even recover and stretch with more energy. I've noticed with myself when I go to stretch, sometimes I do some lifting first and I'm tired to stretch. I don't feel like stretching anymore because because I used my physical energy for the day. Speaking of physical energy, other things you do take away from your physical energy because you're one body, you're one being, if you didn't realize that, you're one skin vessel, okay? When you're home, if you've ever had a stressful day, people calling you, something happens in your family, emotional trauma, you're drained. That doesn't mean that you have an, a separate tank for your physical energy. Yes, sometimes you can kind of you, don't, you haven't moved your body, so you still have movements, but it's going to be a lot less energy than if you had a restful sleep and you've done nothing and you're peaceful, right? So think of everything as energy. And the last thing I want to say is, I don't want to make a, I'll make a whole video on this, is habits and routine, is that when I talk about sleep and nutrition and stretching and all the recovery, recovery is equally if not more important than the training because it's everything you do outside we train for an hour two hours a day we dunk once or twice a week but everything else is how we cultivate that energy how we repair our bodies and when I talk about sleep and nutrition there's a routine that goes into that and when you're trying to build that into maximum energy it takes energy at the start more than usual to set those routines because you're thinking more you're changing your life you're changing your routine and that's out of the known and the unknown is what's scary which will be the next uh key hint hint and when you're able to do that and they become part of your routine, so sleeping becomes part of your routine, meaning like sleeping well and routine and rhythm, nutrition becomes part of your routine, going to the grocery store, all those things come into your routine. Now they take less energy and those habits are breeding more energy. So think of your your the whole entire dunk journey as just energy and you will see how you can unlock your potential. And that leads me to the last one, which is simply faith. Believing in yourself that you can achieve those goals. And what I mean by that is if you truly believe that you will get to the level you want to get to, you will never stop working. Every single obstacle, injuries or lack of energy, you will become, you will be able to see them as ways you can learn and you will start to see the solutions. But if you don't have that limitless mindset, when an obstacle comes, it will stop you. It will it will slow you down and you will start building momentum away from your goals. So you need to have this re unrelenting, relentless mindset that you will achieve these goals so that every obstacle that comes is just another learning curve for you to get over. And I use that mindset with my injuries to continue to learn, even with this hamstring, try this, try that, try this, try this. And when I overcome it, you're better for it. With my knee, I had knee pain for so long. And when I finally said, you know what, I'm gonna cure it no matter what. Sorry, I got a call. Oh, a guy, I did it on here. That's so funny. I got it recorded now. When I finally committed to curing my knee, 
I was able to not only reduce the knee pain, but get it stronger because now I understood what happened. And when you can understand your problems and understand them, you can find the solutions and overcome them and level up. And that's what it's about with this dunk journey. So I'll leave you with this. The end of this is what I want you to notice. Notice your mind in every single workout and every single moment of your day. Do the doubts come and acknowledge them. Notice what they are. Ah, I don't think I can heal this. I have no idea how I'm going to jump higher. I don't know what to do next. All those doubts, make them known because then you could start answering them. I don't know what to do. What could I do to learn here? I don't know how to heal this hamstring. Okay, well, who could I ask? What could I do? What have I tried? What have I not tried? What What does it feel like? There's so many questions that come from them, and if you don't start answering them, you'll be stuck right at that doubt, and you will never move past it. So, Acknowledge your doubts in the workouts. For example, I don't know if I could lift this weight. Instead of doubting that, think about what if I lift this weight? How would that feel if I achieved it? And then let go of the detachment and let go of the outcome. That's detachment. I don't want to get too spiritual on you. But notice that because if you can notice those things and you're willing to acknowledge that fear, you can now make it known and you could start to move past it and level up. So I'm just trying to break you free, unlock your potential, and live limitless. Have a great freaking Dunk Tip Tuesday. Let's go. Dunk Tip Tuesday. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yo, my bird is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my subs. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday.